Good day, everyone, and welcome to the day 46 of the Redeemed Christian Church Fasting and Prayer. Today, we'll be praying against fear and worry, and I'm trusting that the Lord will help us to break out of the old and bondage of fear, even after this prayer in Jesus' name. Fear and worry is one of the weapons the enemy uses to attack the children of God, and it acts in a way to keep us busy, but make us fruitless. We feel like we are busy. We are continuously worrying or fearful of a thing. And it holds us bound. It prevents us from taking a step forward in life, even when the Lord is giving us instruction to take a step forward. Fear makes us focus on our problem and forget the mightiness, the greatness of our God. I'm trusting that the Lord will deliver us from every form of fear that is holding us bound. Fear of death, fear of sickness, fear of failure, fear of accident, fear of childlessness, or any form of fear in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. The devil capitalizes on the fear. When he senses fear, he attacks based on that. Job said, oh, what I fear has come upon me. The devil attacked him based on the fear that is upon his life. I pray the Lord will help us even as we pray today. And I trust that our God will answer our prayer and rescue us speedily in Jesus' name. Amen. Fear is the opposite of faith. You are either fearful or you are faithful. You are either full of fear or you are full of faith. You cannot have the two together because faith takes courage. When you have faith in God, you have this kind of boldness. You know, but when you are fearful, you are timid. Any small thing can affect you. And fear is not based on your age in life. No, fear is based on your level of revelation of God and his word. I pray the Lord will help us so that we move close to him and increase our word level so that we can continually increase in faith in Jesus name. Amen. So it has been described as a false evidence appearing real. You think of something. Some people go into panic attack. Why? Because they think of something. Oh, this thing is going to happen. And they begin to have the fear even before the thing happens. So when something is appearing real, when it's not real, that is what we call fear. That is what fear does. Fear is a strong, unpleasant emotion caused by actual or perceived danger or threat. It is defined as a distressing emotion aroused by threat of impending danger, pain, evil, or so on and so forth. So many times when you fear that something is going to happen, or because of something that has happened before, you've had the experience before, it comes back and torments you. Fear is a tormentor. That is what we should know. It torments the life of anyone that allows it to grow in their life. I pray the Lord will deliver us from every form of torment, Fear has brought upon our life in Jesus' name. Amen. The evil of fear cannot be underestimated in the life of a man. Many of us, like the Israelites, are standing and the Lord is saying, do not be afraid, move forward. But we are unable to move forward because we are fearful. What will happen to tomorrow? What will happen to my children? What will happen to my marriage? How can I survive? You know, we have all this fear and we forget the fact that the Lord we are serving is able when he starts a thing, he will fulfill it. Somebody says, when God alphas a thing, he will omega it. When he alphas a thing, when he begins a thing, he is a God that will fulfill it. So when God tells you do something, he is going to sponsor what he's asking you to do. God is a faithful father that sponsors the project he starts. When God initiates a project, is going to complete it. Is going to sponsor it. So stop being worried. The Bible says, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, where you will live. It is only the pagans, those that don't know God that worry about that. He says, your heavenly father is capable to take care of you. He's taking care of the sparrow. He knows the number of the air on our head. So how much more will he not know our name, even our address? So today as we pray, I want us to leave every spirit of fear at the feet of the cross and trust that the Lord is going to break us free from it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 27 verse 1 to 3 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The psalmist was asking, come on. The Lord is for me. The Lord is my ally. So who shall I be afraid? Who is as powerful as that my God? 
And that is the kind of courage the Lord wants us to have. When you are faced with problem, when you are faced with anything, you say, ah, ah, I have this God of the whole universe as my father. Who dare comes against me? Amen. He says, when the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Why? Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. In what was he confident? In the fact that the Lord is his light and his salvation. In the fact that the Lord is on his side. Why should I fear? I want us also to face those things that have come against us. Do you have an impending exam? Do you have a sickness that seems that is going to be on to date? Look at that sickness. Look at that exam. Look at that challenge and say, the Lord is my light and salvation. Why should I fear? And the Lord will arise and help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 118 verse 6 says, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. Then he was asking the question, what can man do to me? The Lord is on my side. I will not fear because what can you do to me? Jesus was saying, don't fear the people that can only kill the body. Fear God that can kill both the body and the soul. Why should you fear a man that will threaten you? That will threaten to demote you today and tomorrow will not wake up. Is that the kind of person you will fear? Those people that have their strength in the breath of their nostril and they cannot even keep that breath of their nostril if God says it is time. So our fear should not be on man. Do not fear man. Do not fear circumstances when you have God on your side. Amen. Hebrews 13 verse 5 to 6 says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? If the Lord is your helper, even if he's using a human help, if the person stops helping you, you will not fear. Because God has billions of people on earth, he can send on errand. If he can send the raven to feed Elijah, what are we talking about? There is nothing the Lord cannot do. There is no one the Lord cannot send. And I pray it will come speedily to our help in Jesus' name. I want us to begin to thank the Lord and say, Father, I thank you. For you did not give me a spirit of fear. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace to come to your presence and say, Abba, Father, thank you for strength. Thank you for life. We have come again to your presence, not because of our strength, not because we are righteous. Oh, Father, we worship you. Lord, we exalt your majesty. You are a faithful God. Thank you for waking us up from the bed. Thank you for the message we received today. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your blessing upon our life. Thank you for our family. Thank you for the peace you've given us. Thank you for the strength you've given us. Thank you for you are a faithful father. Father, we exalt your majesty. We bless you, Lord. You are good. You are kind. Thank you, Jesus. All glory, all honor, all adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are in your presence singing Hallelujah. 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 We are in your presence singing Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, we are in your presence singing Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In Jesus' name we've worshipped. Amen. In 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. From this passage, we see that fear is a gift. If God has not given you and I the spirit of fear, then where is it coming from? It's coming from the devil. So it means that the devil gives the spirit of fear. And you have the right to either accept or reject it. We're going to say, Father, we thank you that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, but of power and of sound mind. Oh, Father, we exalt your majesty. For you did not give us the spirit of fear, but you gave us three things to overcome the spirit of fear. You gave us love. You gave 
gave us power. You gave us sound mind. Father, we exalt your majesty. Thank you because you have not given me the spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of fear is a stranger. Oh, Father, thank you for you did not give me the spirit of fear. I thank you, Lord, for the faith you have given unto me. Thank you, Jesus. I bless your name. For in Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray. Father, because you did not give me the spirit of fear, every spirit of fear in my life, I send them packing. In the name of Jesus, Father, because you have not given me the spirit of fear, every spirit of fear ruling and reigning in my life, I send them packing. In the name of Jesus, oh, Father, Lord, because you have not given me the spirit of fear, I decree every spirit of fear that is ruling, that is reigning in my life, I send you packing. In the name of Jesus, I send you packing. In the name of Jesus, I send you packing. In Jesus' name we pray. Romans 8.15 says, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. We're going to pray, Father, uproot every spirit of worry and fear in my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, uproot every spirit of worry and fear in my life. Oh, Father, by your mercy, worry of things to come, worry of my future, worry of tomorrow, worry of exams, worry of career, worry of our health. Father, uproot, Lord, every spirit of worry and fear in my life. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, every tree my father has not planted shall be uprooted. Father, uproot every tree of fear in my life. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of worry in my life. Father, uproot it by your mercy. Uproot it by your mercy. Uproot it by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray. Father, in place of the spirit of fear, I receive the spirit of adoption so I can come before your throne and shout, Abba, Father. In place of the spirit of fear, I receive the spirit of adoption so I can come before your throne with boldness. I can approach the throne of mercy with boldness in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, in place of the spirit of fear, I receive the spirit of adoption in the name of Jesus. I receive the spirit of boldness. I receive the spirit of adoption in the name of Jesus. And I receive the courage to approach your throne in the name of Jesus to shout Abba Father in the name of Jesus I receive the grace to approach your throne in Jesus name we pray amen another thing that brings fear is sin when we are living a life of sin, when we are living a life of disobedience, it brings fear. The Bible says in Genesis, in the garden, in the cool of the evening, he called to Adam, where are you? And he said, I heard your voice. I was afraid. The voice of the Lord brings peace. But when the voice of the Lord brings fear, it means that we have entertained sin. We're going to pray. Father, help me, Lord, to live a life of righteousness. Help me to renounce every form of sin. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to renounce every Every form of sin in the name of Jesus, Lord, help me to live a life of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the grace, Lord, to live a life of righteousness. I receive the grace to live a life of holiness in the name of Jesus. Every besetting sin that is making me to be afraid of your voice, every besetting sin that is making me to hide from your presence, oh Lord, help me to overcome them today. Help me to overcome them by your mercy. Help me to overcome them by your mercy in the name of Jesus, Father. Help me to overcome them by your mercy in Jesus name we pray the Bible says faith comes by hearing hearing the word of God. So it means fear comes when you are not hearing the word of God. Fear comes when you are not soaking yourself in the word of the Lord. We're going to pray, Father. Help me, Lord, to be able to be filled with your word. Father, shine the light of your word into my life and let it dispel every form of fear in the name of Jesus, Father. Shine the light of your word into my life. Father, shine the light of your word into my life, Lord, and let it dispel every form of fear in the name of Jesus. The light has come and darkness comprehended it not. Father, Lord, shine your light into my life and let it dispel every darkness of fear, every grip of fear, every hold of fear. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace, Lord, to listen to your word. I receive the grace to listen to your word. I receive the grace to read your word. I receive the grace to be a doer of your word in every way I find myself. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Proverbs 14 verse 16 says, a wise man fears and departs from evil, but a fool rages and is self-confident. And Proverbs 9.10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is on 
understanding. We're going to pray, Father, the wisdom to fear you, release it upon me in the name of Jesus. Father, release upon me, Lord, the wisdom to fear you. Father, help me to fear you in all my endeavors. Help me to fear you in every decision I take. Help me to fear you when I go out. Help me to fear you in my secret life. Help me to fear you in my open life. Help me to fear you in my conduct and speech. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let my life be ruled with your fear. Let my life be ruled with your fear. In Jesus' name we pray for us to excel in the kingdom of God. We are to live in the fear of the Lord. We see the life of Joseph. We see the life of Daniel. Joseph said, how can I do this and sin against God? Ah, we see the life of Daniel. He said, I cannot eat this. Despite the fact that he was taken as a slave to Babylon, he was still living according to the standard of the Lord. It doesn't matter that there is nobody there. It doesn't matter that I'm in a strange land. Oh, the Lord is everywhere I am. The Lord is everywhere. He's omnipresent. We're going to pray, Father, put your fear in me, Lord. Help me to live my life according to your fear. Help me to live my life, my relationship with others. Father, let it be governed by your fear. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help me, Lord, to live in your fear. In the name of Jesus, help me to live in your fear. Help me to act in your fear. In the name of Jesus, help me to conduct my business in your fear. Not because everybody is doing like this. Not because everyone is duping people. Not because everyone is cheating. Not because everyone is using a wrong scale. Not because everyone is lying, Father. Help me to live in your fear. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace, Lord, to live my life in your fear. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 1 John 4, 18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says, Christ loved us even while we were yet sinners. So the love of Christ is so encompassing. The love of Christ is so great. We're going to pray, Father, by your love, cast out every spirit of fear tormenting me in Jesus' name. Father, by your love, I cast out every spirit of fear tormenting me, tormenting my family, tormenting my children. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of fear that has held me bound, preventing me from taking the step you have ordained me to take. Father, I cast them out by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, Father, I cast out every spirit of fear by your love. Father, Lord, let me have a full understanding of your love in the name of Jesus, so that every spirit of fear will get out of my life in the name of Jesus. Father, by your love, cast out every spirit of fear from my life in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Proverbs 10 27 says, The fear of the Lord prolongs days. But the years of the wicked will be shortened. When we fear the Lord, our days are prolonged. We're going to pray, Father, put in me the fear of you so that my days will be prolonged. In the name of Jesus, Father, put in me, Lord, your fear so that my days will be prolonged, so that I will not die prematurely. In the name of Jesus, Father, put your fear in my life so that my days will be prolonged, so that I will live a full life, so that I will be satisfied with long life. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let your fear rule my life. Let your fear rule my doings. Let your fear rule my speech. Let your fear rule everything I will do in the name of Jesus so that my life will be prolonged. Father, let your fear be upon my children. Let your fear be upon my husband to rule their doings, to rule their daily life, Lord, so that their life will be prolonged in the name of Jesus. Father, let your fear rule our life as a family. Father, Lord, in all we do so that our life will be prolonged, so that our days will not be cut short. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 9 verse 10 to 11 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Then verse 11 says, For by me, by what? By the fear of the Lord, your days will be multiplied, and years of life will be added to you. We're going to pray, Father. Ah, give me your fear, Lord. Help me to live in your fear, so that my days will be multiplied, so that the years of life will be added unto me. In the name of Jesus, Father, help me to live in your fear. Help me to do everything through your fear, so that my days will be multiplied, and years of life will be added unto me. Help my 
children, Lord, to live in your fear so that their days will be multiplied and years of life will be added unto them. Help my husband to live in your fear so that his days will be multiplied and years of life will be added unto him. In the name of Jesus, Father, help us, Lord, to live in you. Help us, Lord, to live in your fear, to walk in your fear all the days of our life. Help us, Lord, to deal with others in your fear. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we read in Psalm 27, the Lord is on my side. Whom shall I fear? We're going to pray, Father. I come against every spirit of fear in my life. In the name of Jesus. Instead, I focus my attention upon you. In the name of Jesus, Father. I come against every spirit of fear ruling and reigning in my life right now. In the name of Jesus. I come against them. By the blood of Jesus, I come against every spirit of fear in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we are going to pray. Every spirit of fear and worry. Lose your hold over my family in Jesus' name. Every spirit of fear and worry. I say lose your hold over my family. Lose your hold over my children. Lose your hold over my husband. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of fear. Lose your hold over us right now. In the name of Jesus, I break free from every power of fear holding me down. Every power of worry making me depressed. Every power of worry making me sad. I break free right now. In the name of Jesus, I break free by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to pray. In the name of Jesus, I break out from the bondage of fear and worry. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I break out from every power of fear and worry. I break out from every prison of fear and worry. In the name of Jesus, Father, I break out from every spirit of fear and worry. In the name of Jesus, I break out from every hold of fear and worry. In the name of Jesus, I break out from every Jesus, I no longer live a life of fear. I no longer live a life of worry. I begin to live and walk in faith. In the name of Jesus, I begin to live and walk in faith, in courage. In Jesus' name we pray. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 to 15 says, Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death. And who is that? The devil. And free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. Jesus has come to break us free from every fear of death, from every fear of sickness. We're going to pray, Father, deliver me from the bondage of the fear of death. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver me, deliver my family, deliver my children from the bondage of the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, deliver my children from the bondage of the fear of death. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver us from the bondage of the fear of death. In the name of Jesus, we receive our deliverance today. By your mercy, Lord, we receive our deliverance from the bondage of the fear of death. In the name of Jesus, we receive our deliverance from the bondage of the fear of death. In Jesus' name we pray. The psalmist was saying in Psalm 23 verse 4, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The reason why many of us are fearful is because our eyes has not been opened to see that the Lord is, is with us. The servant of the prophet told him, Ah, my father, we are dead. See the chariot all around us. The prophet was telling him, don't be afraid. But he did not understand why the prophet was calm and, you know, was not worried. Until the prophet said, Oh, father, open his eyes. And then he saw chariot of fire all around. <laughs> he became so confident. Okay, come, you guys, you will be dealt with. Many of us are still living in fear because we have not had a revelation of the presence of the Lord that is with us. We're going to pray, Father, I receive deliverance from the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I receive deliverance from the spirit of death. I receive deliverance from the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive deliverance from the spirit Spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. I deliver myself. I deliver my husband. I deliver my children from the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. We are delivered from the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we are delivered from the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. My family is delivered. My children are delivered from the spirit of death in Jesus' name. We pray. 
we're going to pray. Father, give me a revelation of you. Father, give me a revelation of you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give me a revelation of you to overcome every spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Father, let me have a personal encounter with you so I can overcome every spirit of fear in me in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to overcome the spirit of fear by the revelation of you in the name of Jesus, by the revelation of your power, by the revelation of your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. In Exodus 14, 13, Moses told the Israelites, do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more. And we're going to pray, Father, every agent of fear. The Egyptians were agent of fear that has been tormenting the Israelites. Every agent of fear, Lord. Father, Lord, wipe them away from my life. Wipe them away from your church. Wipe them away from my land. In the name of Jesus, every human agent, every demonic agent of fear working in my life, working in the life of my children and my husband, Father, wipe them off right now. In the name of Jesus, every demonic agent, every agent of death, the enemy is using against my life through sickness, through failure, through poverty. Father, wipe them away today. In the name of Jesus, Father, wipe away every agent of death, every agent of fear, the enemy is using to torment me. Bring them to a sudden end right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, bring them to a sudden end by your mercy. For in Jesus' name we pray. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 to 17 says for i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god to salvation for everyone who believes for the jew first and also for the greek then he says for in it in what in the gospel of christ the righteousness of god is revealed from faith to faith is in the gospel of christ our faith can be revealed as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Father, increase faith in your church in the name of Jesus. Father, increase faith in your church in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, increase your word in your church, Lord, so that our faith can increase in the name of Jesus. Father, increase your word in your church so that our faith can increase in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let our faith be increased in your church in the name of Jesus. We want to go from little faith to a great faith in the name of Jesus, Father. We want our faith to keep increasing at every season, at every moment, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, help us. Let your faith increase. Let our faith increase in the church. Let our faith grow in the church, in the name of Jesus. We want to live the aspect of babes. We want to go to the level of doing great exploit in your kingdom with great faith. Oh, Father, increase our faith. Help our faith to increase in you. Help our faith to grow in you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Joel 2.25. God said he will restore to us the years that every form of locust has eaten. I don't know what has eaten your years. Is it fear? Is it sickness? Is it whatever it is that has held you back? We're going to pray. Father, please restore back all we have lost to the devil through fear. In the name of Jesus, Father, restore back everything we have lost to the devil through fear. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, restore me fully. Restore me fully, Lord. Everything I have lost to the devil through fear, Father, restore it unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, restore it unto us in the name of Jesus. Everything we have lost to the devil, our success, financial breakthrough, we have lost to the devil because we couldn't take a step of faith. Father, restore to us by your mercy. We ask for your mercy, oh Lord. Father, restore to us every years we have lost, every opportunity we have lost, every blessing we have lost through the spirit of fear because we have been directed by the spirit of fear. Father, restore it to us fully by your mercy. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Romans 8, 15 says, For we did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but we received the spirit of adoption by whom we can cry out, Abba, Father, we're going to pray. Father, I shall not fall into the bondage of fear again. As you have believed me today, as you have freed me today, Lord, I will not fall into the bondage of fear again. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever it is that will bring fear across my way, is it what I'm looking at? Is it what I'm hearing, Lord? Father, help me to change them today in the name of Jesus. I decree by your mercy, I shall not enter into the bondage of fear again. You have freed me. I am free indeed. I will not enter into the bondage of fear again by your mercy. In Jesus name we pray. We're going to pray. I bind every spirit of fear, timidity and unbelief attacking my faith. Father, I bind them by your mercy. Every spirit of fear, timidity and unbelief attacking my faith. I bind them right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear, timidity and unbelief attacking my faith, preventing my faith from growing. I bind 
them. I uproot them in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, help me to be focused on you, not to be focused on the world. Help me, oh Lord, to be focused on you at all times in the name of Jesus. I reject the spirit of fear in every area of my life. I receive in my spirit. There's somebody pregnant now, and you have the fear of miscarriage. There's somebody pregnant now, and you have the fear of dying in labor. You have the fear of your child dying. You're going to pray. I reject every spirit of fear in all areas of my life. I reject every spirit of miscarriage. I reject every spirit of miscarriage. The Bible says you shall not have miscarriage. You will reject it right now. Every spirit of miscarriage, I shall not die, but live to declare the word of the Lord. I reject it. Every spirit, contrary to your spirit, I reject them by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, I begin to live in faith. I have courage like David to face every Goliath that will come against me. In the name of Jesus, thank you Lord for you've done it. Thank you, Jesus, for deliverance from every spirit of fear. We bless your name for your faithful God. Thank you, Lord, for you will help us. For every time the devil introduces an iota of fear into our heart, we will reject it totally by your mercy. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you, brethren, for joining me again to pray. Please don't forget to like, to share, to comment, and to subscribe to this channel. God bless you. Shalom.